Science has brought mankind really far. I mean, there was a time when we used to eat raw meat for survival, but the power of observation, recreation and invention has brought us to an era where fast food is readily available at the touch of a finger. We have even started private space exploration missions for crying out loud. But one thing is for certain, no breakthrough invention has ever come out without some sort of wacky idea by a person who thought a bit unconventionally. Speaking of the most brilliant wackos, a mad genius in fact who fits the bill in our era is Elon Musk. You know, the guy who sells flamethrowers for fun, calling them not a flamethrower. His craziest most recent idea is the SpaceX Mechazilla, a system designed to retrieve rockets. But how exactly? Well, sit tight because today we are going to be looking at how Mechazilla will grab the SpaceX Super Heavy rocket. Let's begin. Before we begin to describe the actual mechanics of Mechazilla, we should first address the inspiration behind the idea. Musk, in a tweet, stated clearly how and where he got the idea for the entire endeavor. In a tweet, he shared a video and referenced the 1984 movie Karate Kid. The idea came about from a scene where we see the protagonists trying to catch flies with their chopsticks. This is really brilliant and funny at the same time. How does someone look at such a scene from a movie and think to themselves, I am going to do that with rockets? But then again, it's not just someone we are talking about. It is Elon Musk. The Mechazilla even derives its name from another movie character, Mecha Godzilla. Elon Musk attributes this name selection to the fact that if the entire structure had legs, it would look like Mecha Godzilla. As crazy as it sounds though, the entire plan seems to be carefully thought out. Basically, the idea is to catch rockets after they return to Earth in their landing phase. Previously, reusable rockets primarily landed on their own via a series of actions by thrusters and guided assistance from boosters along with the head. However, there were a few problems that not only made the entire practice slow, but also a little unsure. The majority of SpaceX's own, as well as those of others, reusable rockets failed owing to accidents that predominantly existed in the touchdown phase. Quite often, thrusters failed to provide sufficient propulsion or varying wind speeds and other random aspects, as well as precision failures by the guidance boosters, meant that even if rockets landed vertically, they were at risk of tipping over. Another not so rare sight. This meant that there was a need for a stable landing option that would allow rockets to land safely and surely because, of course, what good is a reusable rocket if you can't reuse it? Nevertheless, the Mechazilla solves these multi-pronged problems with a very simple idea – to catch rockets before they touch down. At first glance, the proposed and worked structure of the Mechazilla has stark similarities, both in design and function, to conventional launch towers. One may argue that this means the Mechazilla is not entirely a new idea, but that's where they're wrong. Launch towers only serve launching purposes. The Mechazilla, on the other hand, is a landing platform as well. With long arms extending outwards, it is meant to clasp SpaceX's super heavy rocket in the said arms and gently bring it to a standstill without the continued need for boosters to provide hover. The initial plan is to use Super Heavy's grid fins as support by positioning Mechazilla's arms underneath. So basically, instead of the legs, the grid fins will bear the weight of the rocket itself. These fins also already serve the purpose of using aerodynamics to guide the rocket as it makes an upright landing. The arms are meant to provide mobility in both the horizontal and vertical axis so as to not only catch the rockets with ease but also to reposition it back onto the launch pad. A series of arms positioned vertically is also being considered in speculation in case the first pair malfunctions, which itself is highly unlikely. This might reduce damage considerably should anything as such occur. The arms are extended well outward to further prevent damage to the lower in case of any other errors on part of the rocket itself. So it becomes apparent how a lot of functions are taken out of the rocket to minimize unilateral errors and allow simpler vehicles to be more readily operable. Moreover, the ease of reconfirmation with Mechazilla's arms also means that it can be adjusted to be used for other rockets other than the Super Heavy in the future. Not only does it allow to take functions out of the rockets, but physical components as well, which means that there is a sufficient cost saving that occurs in the long term. Particularly reusable rockets need not necessarily have legs. Where there is an apparent reduction in production costs for rockets, it also means that any accidents typically attributed to the malfunction of the legs are also avoided. 
This is a very significant development since failure to deploy the legs as well as accidents caused by loads exceeding their bearing capacity account for the vast majority of landing accidents, something SpaceX has been a victim of too. The Mechazilla is also capable of catching the spaceship itself, not just the rocket. This means that it can also reduce safety issues but prevail with successful landings for ships and could potentially reduce risk to human life. But perhaps the most interesting thing that the Mechazilla is expected to accomplish is its purpose as a relaunch aid. You see, after the Mechazilla catches the rocket, it may place it onto a launch pad, or if the legs are eventually removed, the lower set of arms may hold the rocket whilst the upper set catches the ship upon its arrival. Thereafter, it may reattach the two and make relaunch almost immediately possible. Musk is confident that this means the time between launches will be reduced to as little as half an hour. If this happens, SpaceX will become almost unstoppable in its domination of the privatized space market. Musk hopes that by using the Mechazilla, SpaceX will be able to relaunch its Starship thrice per day. Well, he also hopes to use the Starship and Mechazilla to realize his dream of establishing a city on Mars. But that is something better discussed later. As of what has been accomplished so far, it seems like Mechazilla will probably revolutionize the corporate space race once more. This is particularly beneficial for Tesla since there are two things absolutely crucial to any market – time and money. By removing legs from rockets altogether, weight is significantly reduced, which translates into reduced weight and ultimately fuel costs. The more apparent bits are the costs of the legs themselves, which might just be taken out of the equation altogether. With reduced chances of errors on part of the rocket, accidents will also likely be reduced and subsequently any costs affiliated with them. One major cost reduction would also be in retrieving the rockets. Previously, rockets would land on either land or ocean-based landing pads. For the latter, there were minimized safety concerns for surrounding areas, but the process of retrieving the ocean-based landing pads was very costly as well as time-consuming. And of course, time itself is key. With more launches in lesser time, clients like NASA would simply be able to do more. Altogether, this means SpaceX is clearly the most preferable service provider for a privatized space market. With the Mechazilla, there is full disclosure. SpaceX is already so ahead of its competition that Musk is super confident that no one will be able to match its pace. Mechazilla is only going to take things further. Honestly, if Musk pulls this off, which seems very likely, SpaceX will have absolute dominance over space. The idea seems simple, but the intricate and necessary details to make such precision-based procedures possible are very complex. According to Musk, Mechazilla will probably become operational as soon as Starship's fifth booster rocket is made. Overall, this means we might be seeing Mechazilla in action pretty soon. To see Musk pull this off will undoubtedly be remarkable. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Do remember to leave a like and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more. Until next time.